Well, this won't improve your mood next time you're waiting to take off. It turns out the airlines often choose which planes get stuck at the gate. Between January and May, more than 400,000 flights were delayed, and that's more than 19 percent. Here's Chris Van Cleve. The 90-minute flight from Chicago's O'Hare Airport to Knoxville, Tennessee, was the nation's worst performing route last year. Not surprising to traveler Larson J. We take this flight a lot. We're always delayed and we're always behind, but um, you just it's a crapshoot. The flight is a recipe for headaches. The route flies from an airline hub prone to delays. Last year, 15 of the 20 least on-time routes came to or from O'Hare. It typically uses smaller regional jets. That's the case for 17 of the 20 worst performing routes. And those regional planes often make several stops a day. Josh Marks of Mass Flight says there's a reason for all the delays on short haul regional routes. That's simply because those regional aircraft are smaller planes. There are fewer numbers of people that the airlines have to reaccommodate. Inside United Airlines Network Operations Center in Chicago, everyone from maintenance to meteorology is working to keep 5,000 daily flights operating as on time as possible. Our key hubs are, are looking great. Jim DeYoung says the airline tries to anticipate travel problems but acknowledges some planes get an advantage. Do certain types of flights get a preference if push comes to shove. Just by the, the, the length of the flight and, and the nature of the flight, you're going to see that the international flights will get priority. But ultimately, we're looking at customer connections, we're looking at the crew connections, we're looking at the aircraft flows and, and balancing all of those types of things. Since 1980, the seating capacity on regional jets has increased 268 percent. That, as the industry as a whole, has been reducing capacity of late. Scott, in 2013, about a quarter of all domestic airline passengers were flown by regional airlines. Chris Van Cleve at Washington's Reagan National tonight. Chris, thanks.